Kumar's recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's recipe is a delicious keema pao recipe which you will want to try and I've made it in a very simple manner with very simple ingredients. So let's get started. So friends, let's see today's lovely recipe of keema pao which is super easy. So now in a pot, I'm going to heat one tablespoon of oil. Now let the oil heat up really nicely on a low to medium flame and now we're going to add two medium sized onions that I've chopped fine. Now fry the onions really well till they get a little bit translucent. Now once the onions are nice and translucent we're going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So this is homemade paste. I'll leave a recipe of how I make my ginger garlic paste at home. That is, uh, take five cloves of garlic, large cloves of garlic and one uh, inch of ginger. And then the rest of the recipe, uh, you can see how I make it at home. And now fry the onions and the ginger garlic paste really, really well together. You should get this lovely aroma of the onions and the ginger garlic. And now I'm going to add two green chilies and fry the green chilies also really well together. Now once all of the, these three ingredients are nicely fried, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of meat masala. Now this is ready-made meat masala but I always add this to my keema and it comes out really really amazing. Next I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder. Again, mix everything well together. And now I'm just going to add about one fourth cup of water. Since we are adding powder masalas, we don't want the powder masalas to get burnt in the oil. So I'm going to add the water. And the minute you add the water, you'll get this beautiful aroma of all of the masala, especially the meat masala. So now just mix everything nicely together. Now I'm going to add two and a half teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder. So the Kashmiri red chilli powder adds a lovely color. It doesn't make it very spicy. We've already added chilies to, uh, you know, to make this a little bit spicy. So this just enhances the color. And again, I'm going to add about one fourth cup of water. Again, mix all of this really nice together. And now once everything has come together really well, we're going to add 200 grams of mince. Now you can use any mince, that is beef, chicken, mutton, whatever you regularly use. This dish goes with all kinds of mince, even soya if you're, uh, you know, keeping it wedge. And now mix all of this really nicely together. You want all of that bagar to go or food be to go really well into the meat. So mix it in well. Now we're going to flavor it with some salt to taste. And again, mix everything nicely together. Now because we added the Kashmiri chili powder, we'll get this lovely rich color. And now I'm going to add half a cup of water because now we want to cook the, uh, the mince really well. So that's why we're going to add a little more water. And now to enhance the flavor, I've just taken two teaspoons of kasuri methi, crushed it up and added it. Now this kasuri methi really goes well with keema. It really makes the keema flavors, you know, stand out. And now I'm going to add one tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander leaves. I've retained about a teaspoon for garnish later on. But now when I'm adding the coriander leaves also, you know, flavors this keema really well. And now I'm going to cover and cook this on a very low flame for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, when you open the lid, you'll see that everything has come well together. So now just put off the heat or turn off your gas and just add a little bit of coriander for garnish. And now when you're serving this, just add a little bit of butter, about a teaspoon of butter or a half a teaspoon of butter. Some lovely sliced onions and definitely some lime and some nice fresh pao. Wasn't that a real easy recipe? So uh, what I like to do is I mostly make this keema, you know, when I'm making it on the weekend because then you can have a big pot of keema, you can have it for lunch, dinner, and if there are any leftovers of keema, I like to make keema parathas. 
So I will leave a recipe of how I do that in the description box as well as the comment section. That's a nice way of having kheema parathas with leftover kheema. So if you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and subscribe to Akshita's recipes, become a part of my channel. And once you have subscribed, click the notification bell that you whenever I put up a video, you'll get a message for the same. So thank you once again for being here and watching this lovely video. Do try your hands on this Kima Pao and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita signing off. Bye guys. Take care.